clear-headed as a church. It's our way of looking at what the step Unbeatable leadership with Jeff Struger. Hey, here's some leadership thoughts for you about trust. I want to describe, if possible, the ROI, the return on investment on trust. I think most leaders don't understand the power, the value, the enormous wealth that comes along with developing trust. You see, trust is the essence of all human relationships. Trust is what makes children believe that dad is gonna be there when I jump into his arms or that mom will be dependable when I need her. Trust is what makes a husband and a wife exchange vows on their wedding day. And trust is what happens to every person who takes a job or who offers a job. We trust that you're going to do your best and we're gonna give you money for the work that you do. I'm going to do my best and I trust that you're gonna pay me adequately for the work that I provide for you. All human relationships are built on the currency of trust. But in business, trust is easily shattered because most leaders just don't understand how powerful it is. In my opinion, trust is the essential foundation. It is the groundwork that builds loyalty. You see, when I trust you and I know that you trust me, in fact, I'll take it a step further. When I trust that you trust me and when I trust that you know I trust you, then I can start to show you some loyalty. Then you start to show me loyalty. And I guess I probably should just say this out loud, although you probably already know it. Loyalty always works two ways. You ask for loyalty, but you also show loyalty and you have no business expecting loyalty that you haven't already showed to somebody else. Loyalty only comes through trust. And when you've developed the kind of trust in one another, that you can be loyal to one another, that makes somebody willing to really step out and start to do something great at work. And that makes them willing to even step out of their comfort zone and take some risks. And when you start to get an organization of people that have that kind of loyalty, that kind of trust with one another, man, great things are gonna happen. I could kind of put this into a formula for you. It goes like this. Trust leads to loyalty and loyalty develops audacity and audacity when you have that creates courage and it makes something beautiful. So if you want to be a leader of a team that is out there chasing after and attacking some big, hairy, audacious goals. If you want to go all after something great, you can't possibly get there without some people that are willing to take risks. And they're not going to take some risks if they don't believe that you're going to be loyal to them and they won't be loyal to you. So it all goes back to trust. I think most leaders know this intuitively. They just don't understand how powerful it is. So I've got a very simple takeaway from this leadership lesson today. Here's the deal. Everything that a leader says, all that a leader does, it doesn't matter if it's in private or public. It doesn't matter if it's in your personal life or your professional life. Everything that you say, all that you do speaks to whether or not somebody can trust you. So you really cannot go too far being the kind of woman or the kind of man that is worthy of the trust of the people that you lead. And you do it in the simple things, not in the really big things. It's in the very simple things done day in and day out that says, I think I can trust her. I think he is the kind of guy that won't let me down. And that's when beautiful things happen. That's when big, hairy, audacious goals get smashed. So if you want to go smash some big, hairy, audacious goals, be the kind of leader that people have a radical degree of trust in. Just a little leadership thought for you. See you around.